Hey, uh, we got our Roy Zell Smith, one of our fantastic linebackers here. Tell me about uh, how scrimmage went today, Roy Zell. Um, if I had to rate, I'd give it probably like a B minus. You know, as a defender, you don't want to put out in the school maybe twice. You try to keep out the end zone. You know, that's our main priority around here. But as a whole, I think we did all right. For like I think I second scrimmage of the season so far, but we still got more of a long way to go. How are you coming along, coming back uh, after rehabbing? Uh, you know I haven't played a meaningful game since December 18th of the bowl game, so I'm trying to knock the rust off still. Like you know, I can tell, I'm still not back to where like football wise where I need to be, but I think I should be there in more than like a couple more days. It's getting there quick once we get was, the pads yeah, on, yeah, huh? It came quick, so I think this my foot more work, stuff like that, and reading plays and stuff like that. It should be better more quickly, a couple more days. True. <laughs> Tell me about your uh, your linebacking core. Boy, you, you guys are stacked, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you know, with seniors, me, Jeremy, and Isaiah. But, you know, guys like Aubrey and um, Pickett and DeAndre had a good, got a time to get experience while me and Isaiah were out. That really is going to benefit us during the season instead of going like a long lot of place and start having like a depth now. Even Rapati and Philly, the other guys, when he gets back, so we have depth now. So any any time our lineup can change. So we're out here fighting for a spot every day. So. Fighting for spots, but in games, we just keep rolling people in at them too and keeping you fresh so that you can go ahead and keep you know just go at them 100 percent every play, huh? Of course, you know in this conference you're playing against top flight receivers and running backs so you're going to probably need a break every three to four plays so it helps to have that depth so you can by come fourth quarter you just fresh that's what we're trying to keep everybody fresh by fourth quarter so you can just finish off the game the way we need to be i'm going to ask you one kind of off the off the beaten track question here um how's the offense coming together oh uh, the offense i think is a lot more multi they like doing a lot a lot more different things this year. I mean, they hit us with play action passes and play action draw passes and stuff like that. And the receivers are smooth and stuff like that. I mean, the running back is just, um, but the running back is so deep, it's, it's incredible. But I think the offense really helped them in the summertime. They really bonded in the summertime. We got to be everybody, know everybody come together in 707 in the summertime. That helped them a lot. And you can really see it paying dividend right now where they're starting to get click real fast and offensive line clicking even more now. That's really good to see on offense because you know what we lost from last year, all the receivers and stuff like that. So it's really good to see that progress from you guys. Those people out there thinking that we uh, we ain't got nothing, they're gonna be shocked, aren't they? Oh yeah, let them keep thinking that. <laughs> let them keep thinking that. When we, when we show up in December and prove where our record was, then we'll look back and smile at them then. So we let our actions speak, but we just taking the first game to Tony Brook and go out there after that. What's your uh, major? Criminal justice. How's your grades? I'm an old school teacher. I got four more classes done and I'm done. Fantastic. Well, that's done. great to hear. Um, you got to say hello to the folks back home, otherwise I'm in trouble. Oh, what's up, EP? You know, we'll be back probably next Monday, next Sunday, I think. So we'll see y'all then. Hope y'all come out to some practice and see y'all September 3rd. Fantastic. Thanks, man.